Okay, I have a snowblower here with five forward gears. Let's see if I can show that. Um, somewhere like that. I can't see very well up there. Anyways, it was stuck in fifth gear because it was in my shed. Uh, down in the back 40 there. And um, there was a small flood. It must have flooded about 8 or 10 inches. And then um, my gears were stuck in fifth gear. So, in order to fix that, um, I took off this belly pan. There was just six, six bolts holding the belly pan on down here. Um, four across the bottom and two in the back. And then I found... Um, this is what's underneath there. So what happens is the motor spins this wheel. This wheel spins around, probably clockwise, and then, um, or possibly clockwise, I have no idea. And then um, this wheel here is connected to the sh shaft that would drive the wheels and spins when the wheels spin. Sorry about the lighting. So, the motor will spin this wheel um, when you engage the uh, tires to go forward. Um, I believe this will press up against this wheel. And since it's in fifth gear, this is all the way to the outside of this wheel. Spins faster. Um, anyways, I could not get this thing to move over to the center of the wheel because as it goes into first gear... Um, it will spin slower as this as this wheel is pressed up against the center of this wheel. So this is my arm that engages or shifts the lever. Um, this mechanism here, again, sorry about the light. This mechanism, this wheel goes back and forth on the shaft okay as this as you shift up and down well anyways um, it was frozen way over here to the left and I took some PB blaster soaked down this wheel right in here this area here quite a bit and on the other side it's hard to see in there The other side there quite a bit and tapped it with a hammer as I had this thing kind of stuffed in uh, fourth gear so from fifth gear to fourth gear um, I wrapped this is the arm that I'll move it from underneath I wrapped up on this arm and I also tapped on the side of this, as I spun the wheel, tapped, spun the wheel, kept on spinning and tapping and spinning and tapping and wrapping up on this. And finally it moved slightly, got up into fourth gear, um, moved this over into neutral so it was just kind of loose. And then as I was wrapping up on this, I got this thing to move all the way over which it's supposed to like that sorry okay so PB blaster and a hammer and then I also took a wire brush um, either a small wire brush or a larger wire brush and brushed off all the crud along this bar lubed it up a little bit like I should say, this will get over into fourth or first gear in the center, and then actually, when you want to go into reverse, it actually over centers on that big wheel in the back, and then makes the thing go in reverse. Um, but it moves nice and smooth now. Also cleaned out all the crud that was in here, 
and the rat droppings or mouse droppings as it was parked out in a shed. I'll put some uh, grease on the chains and the sprocket. There's a sprocket way in the back here. But it was nice that I didn't have to take anything else apart and was able to get uh, the unit to shift all the way through its gears again. I hope this video helps anybody else that has this issue. If it does, give me a thumbs up. It took me about, I don't know, half an hour or so. And I have it up on jack stands um, on the wheels, on the bearing holders there. And it's pretty solid up here, so. All right, thank you.